how would you open the gates to success with growing opportunities how would you choose your path embark upon a journey with sri balaji society and let experienced hands shape you to lead the world retired from the indian armed forces colonel dr a balasubramanian a visionary leader has redefined success following his mantra problems are opportunities he has transformed more than 15000 lives through the establishment of one of the leading educational institutions in india sri balaji society with humble beginnings in 1998 founded as the indian institute of modern management where a full time management program commenced in the year 1999 further the indian center of telecom and management was founded in 2002 followed by the indian center of international business in 2003 and the indian center of management and human resource development in 2004 students at sri balaji society learn from the best faculty in the country which the society is well acclaimed for institute to bahut hai लेकिन ये बालाजी इंस्टीट्यूट में मुझे जो नज़र आया वो मुझे बहुत महत्वपूर्ण तो लगा है डिसिप्लिन कर्नल डॉक्टर ए बालासुब्रमण्यन बाय इस्टेब्लिशिंग दीज वर्ल्ड क्लास इंस्टीट्यूट इन पुणे हैज अर्न बोथ नेम एंड रिस्पेक्ट अमंग द लीडिंग एजुकेशनिस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री वॉट इज दीक्रेट ऑफ इज सक्सेस Number one, to begin that way, he is very humble, very simple man. He would not show that he has done so much. He would not talk about himself. Commitment is his culture. Commitment to his society. Commitment to his students, staff. Confidence is his creed. Tremendous confidence. He is never afraid of anything. Innovation is his strategy. He will not carry on the old thing. Though he has become a great educationist, he is very noble. Colonel Dr. A. Balasubramanian. was the first man in the history of india to be conferred with the title of honorary colonel this was done by no less than the president of india had a retired as civil which is not a very high rank i can't imagine the president of india gives him honorary colonelship for a dedicated service to the children of defense personnel and when bala left simbai says He also started his new career. In fact, Balaji was reborn. I will say he has constructed so many buildings, hostels, and now he has become a really a successful entrepreneur. I will call him the best Asian entrepreneur of Pune city. And I want to also pronounce the Balaguru. The Guru is the Balaji Guru, the management guru, sir. <laughs> Your father Balaji is a legend. Is a total legend. What is he is called the Bharat Ratna of education. Who have built the future, who building the future. So therefore I salute the father and the patriarch of this institution who has invited me yet again. Thank you very much, Father Balaji. He is the soul of this institution. He is the founder. and see from where he started where he has brought it up i mean sir and i consider these educational institutions as the great temples of democracy so according to me he is doing much greater service than the so called prime ministers of this country or members of the i must say you don't even need me when you have a man like him for inspiration my compliments to professor uh, dr balasubramanian who's actually worked now for 14 years 
to create such a dynamic, such a vibrant institute. And uh, Dr. Sahib, Chauda Saal ke baad to vanvas pura ho jata hai. To ab to aapke institute has to just take off. That's the time to really now flourish. You, I, I wish your institute all success in the world. And I'm daring to quote from your website, uh, sir. So many of our dreams seem possible at first, then they seem improbable. And then, when we summon the will, they soon become inevitable. I think that sums up what Professor Bala Subramaniam stands for. And I compliment all of you for being a part of this great institute. And I promise you that if you keep this mantra in your life, you will never go wrong. The Balaji Institute has been doing not only fantastic work, but the outstanding work, especially in giving 50% reservation to women, to the girl students, as well as running the institute 165 a year. And the way they have been working on the discipline, enforcing discipline, and uh, inculcating the qualities of determination and dynamism among our students, I think it will take a, this institute a long, long way and to create a bright future, not only for this, uh, for the students who will be passing out from this, but for this great country. As we keep coming back with this long association between the Tatas and the Balaji Institute, it's always a privilege, an honor, and a pleasure to have someone who's got so much of energy that he makes you feel that you probably need to drink a little bit more of Horlicks every day when you look at him. He's a bundle of energy and selflessly gives towards the building of institutions. And ladies and gentlemen, the man behind the Balaji Group, Professor Dr. Marcus Pramani. Please join us on stage, Colonel. Although he failed to do exceptionally well in his 10th standard, today Colonel Dr. A. Balasubramanian holds three master's degrees, including a gold medal which he received from the Pune University for his master's in personal management. He was a junior commissioned officer when he retired. Before retirement, he has self-educated himself and then to establish the institution right from scratch. What a vision, what drive, and all because he was inspired. If you are not inspired, you are not going to take one step forward. So Dr. Subramanian, Honorary Colonel, I salute you. You have been an extraordinary man. And look at the greatness of this man. What he has achieved is something extraordinary. His humility has not left him. He still respects me. We are contemporaries.